So I keep dying in Rainbow Friends, and I really want that to stop. I want to be able to make it to the end and not spend all my precious gems on lives, and I just want to have a fun time with friends. And if this continues on, I'll be wasting not only Robux, but my time I could be making videos for you all. So I needed to really study these creatures and understand them, so not only would I not die, I'd save gems, time and I would rank up faster and that's exactly what I did so in today's video I'm going to show you how to never die in rainbow friends again all right I'm so excited about this because after watching today's video you will be able to boss through rainbow friends so let's go ahead and talk about night one you're gonna be encountering blue now blue is very big and you cannot miss blues footsteps I mean that's how you will know blue is coming now the big thing with blue is is that your box is going to be your best friend on night one why because blue cannot do anything now there is a circumstance or a situation that will happen which I'm about to show you now if you actually put your box on in blue sight where blue is kind of close to you what will happen is you would get a red exclamation mark that goes over your head and that means you're in trouble so just run away get a box on and again avoid blue at all costs because blue can be quite fast at times so that's my best advice on avoiding blue you can walk through them with the box so make sure in night one the box is literally your friend let's also talk about some pretty cool hiding spots around the map if you didn't know you can also get away from blue like this as well going in a locker uh, just pretty much look for anything you can almost just get into not just crouch under so there's again vents and things like that that you can also go into make sure it's not purple though which the tips on purple that's coming later in the video you don't want to miss that either oh green I know what you're thinking blue was quite easy but green is on a whole nother level but there are a lot of benefits to green as green is blind and cannot see so your best bet with green is to just avoid green at all costs too now the thing is is that you are going to be in green's way doesn't matter if you're in a box at all and green has really long arms and if you bump into one of green's arms let's just say green is gonna have you for dinner so the best thing you could do with green is just avoid him stay in the box run away uh, and again green is blind so there is no way really I mean there are times where you go down a hallway and green is blocking the hallway my best advice to you is to just run away or wait until green just goes okay <laughs> night three where two more rainbow friends come out that you have to actually deal with and we're gonna be talking about purple now during this you will hear some vent sounds something's rumbling and moving in the vents and that is purple right here now if you walk on the water let's just say you're dead so do not do that if you do not want to die by purple which it might catch you off guard there's footsteps in the middle follow that path and you will be safe just don't walk on the water you don't have to crouch or anything like that but just make sure you stay clear of the vents especially if purple is there but purple does go away and switches between vents so that's a plus look at this you've made it to orange aren't you glad you stuck around on this video and dropped the like it is much appreciated so how do you actually get away from orange now orange is probably one of the most interesting monsters as well and is very hungry i can relate to orange a lot and orange is like a dinosaur a lizard and you will know when orange is coming because you will see a trail and an alarm which means orange is hungry and someone forgot to feed orange so i'm going to show you a tip to avoid orange and also not die by orange and keep orange from really running out as much as possible so orange you can stay in a box and orange won't see you stay clear of this path though you'll see scratch marks on the ground that is also the path of orange so you can even hide in vents we talked about those hiding spots in a in the previous clip so if you did miss any of those make sure to check them out so orange you can follow his trail and go actually to orange's base which this is also very key because there is a food machine there that you are going to need especially if you're playing with friends uh, it, it will help a lot with orange actually running out so you can actually feed orange which is amazing so all you have to do is go up to this 
food i think it's called like food 3000 or something like that so just go up to it food dispenser 3000 and click the red button to the left or lever and you will feed orange which will sort of keep orange here and busy for a while but uh it doesn't stop orange from coming out uh, if if there's no food in there so just be on guard but there is a way to avoid orange especially again if you have more people in the game and they're feeding orange and orange is not feeding on you so just stay clear hide and vince and avoid orange at all costs and remember don't forget to use your box one of the final nights now this is where it gets interesting because you're now going up against all of the rainbow friends so i hope you've had your pen and pad because uh with these notes on how to actually stay alive against these rainbow friends is very important green stay out of the way do not get in the path of green those arms are very long and will catch you so in the last night well this night here where the power is out you have to find nine batteries now the good thing about this is is that the batteries uh, are quite easy to spot as they are lit up like there's a little light around the batteries and again it's just nine of them you've made it this far you found 24 blocks I mean fu fuses food packs you can find just nine batteries so this is it so once you get all the batteries you avoid blue blue is quite easy to run away from as well uh, it's just orange you got to really be careful about and stay clear of the corners because green is always around the corners but if you do all that correctly you should be able to complete the map or let's say the night and now it's time to go up against blue so i'm also going to give you guys a little tip here on the last bit which is this is the do not pop the balloons so basically uh you want to avoid these balloons okay don't pop them now it is quite interesting if you are playing with more people if someone ends up getting stuck it can sort of delay the ending so do bear that in mind so just make it past the balloons if you pop the balloons blue will come get you but if you are doing this solo you can just come over here to the cake and then it will kind of cue this balloon to get popped and look this final tip here is so key to escaping and surviving now you can do this you can take as long as you want on this spot here you won't die uh at least until the the wood drops and then blue will actually come after you so make sure you run through the vents do not fall in the vents because you will die by purple purple is down there okay and waiting for you now what you want to do is you want to just crouch under these and just make your way out and if you do this correctly you should be able to survive rainbow friends you have successfully done it you haven't died at all you know exactly how to stay alive against blue you know exactly how to stay alive against green orange and purple i mean this is phenomenal so i really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did Feel free to leave a like and share it and also feel free to subscribe for more. I wish you all the best luck on completing Rainbow Friends and not dying ever, ever again. So much, much love. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Remember to be yourself and I will see you all in the next video.